This video is part two of a series where Stuart Lane of Caroline County, Virginia, talks about his experience with multi-species cover crops. Here he talks about seeding cover crops and how he managed the high biomass. As you can tell, this is probably the, the best case scenario uh, as far as optimum growth. We have uniform blooming of the uh, clover and the winter pea uh, for that nitrogen source. Uh, this is our third year uh, using a multi-species crop uh, cropping system. As far as seeding rates go, um, we try to go with the rule of thumb of 50 pounds per acre. And uh, of, any, of any seed type mixture there is, the 50 pound rule seems to be a pretty good rule that we have found out to get a uniform stand like this. But all in all, I don't think it gets much better than this as far as production of uh, plant material. This was seeded uh, by a spreader truck. Uh, we put the seed in uh, the fertilizer at a, at a local co-op and it was just straight potash, 60% potash at 100 pounds per acre. One thing we didn't want to do was leave the seed overnight in with the fertilizer because we were afraid of uh, some germination problem. So uh, as soon as we got the fertilizer, we uh, put it on the field and uh, spread it immediately. We did incorporate the seed very lightly, about a half inch with a turbo till, and that seems to get us really, really good um, uh, stands. And as you can tell, with that, that particular brand of fertilizer spreader we used, uh, we got a really uniform stand. And uh, that's one of the keys that you want to get is not too thick. Too thick is, a, is where you'll get some choking out and you'll lose some maybe some clover or whatnot. But uh, we have found using this method works out very well. And we get, as you see, a really uniform stand. I think the biggest challenge that we're going to have now, once we got this uh, huge crop of uh, biomass out here, is how we're going to plant into this. And uh, at first we thought we could probably spray it with some herbicide and uh, destroy it, but uh, we do not feel that we can plant through this uh, with the, material, the uh, equipment that we do have. We normally use a no-till drill. Uh, that's pretty effective under most conditions, but this is just a lot of material that we, I don't feel confident we're going to get a stand. What we're going to do is probably run an offset disc across it. Uh, we'll offset disc at one time, let the uh, crop stand and the roots dry, and then we'll hit it in a perhaps a 45 degree angle and finish up that, uh, that uh, uh, tillage practice and uh, uh, I had those roots exposed and, and the material dried up. Even though Stuart prefers continuous no-till management, he decided in this case to disc in the cover crop because of ground moisture conditions and the urgency of getting the next crop in the ground. He followed this cover crop with the planting of soil. 